My name is Christopher Lee Brown and I'm doing it from the movie Kingdom World and welcome back to my channel. Before I give you my thoughts on the movie Infinity Pool, here's the plot. James and M. Foster, which they are a married couple, are enjoying an all-inclusive beach vacation in the fictional island of La Toga when a fatal accident exposes the result for versus subculture and hidden Doistic tourism, reckless violence, and surreal horrors. So that's kind of the kind of just a fit. So those two married couple went on the island, and then James bumped into it because James is also is a book, a famous book author, and he bumped into one. Got bumped into a a fan that come. Was played by Mio Goth's character. I forgot what, what's her name in the movie. So they bump into each other and they spend. Then, they, James and M. Foster, spend the day with. Mio Goth's character and Mio Goth's character's husband in the movie, and after that they went on just take a road trip to the countryside. But and but they got lost and during the the lost James got hit and got hit, hit hit somebody, so they got out and that's the um, the accident they probably were talking about. I can got this this summary off of IMDb so. That happened, and then after that, the one thing I didn't, didn't like, didn't like the movie is like, they because if you didn't do, because this culture has a real way of doing things. So if 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 you murder someone, like you could be killed, or you, you could kill your clone, something like that. That's why I got out of it. But uh, for me, if you like, you, I, I enjoyed it a lot. I think the acting is really great in my opinion. opinion. Mia Goff did a really out, outstanding job. She always, she fucking nailed it in this, in my opinion. She really good. I like Alexander Skarsgård is one of the Skarsgård people. But he did an excellent job. The supporting cast did a really good job of what they supposed to do. So, and I like the kind of trippy visuals. This is one of those elevated horror movies. This is an elevated sci-fi movie. If you like those elevated horror, what you call it? Not so so cerebral, but the el those elevated type trippy type movies, you'll enjoy this one. And for me, I like it because it's not real shit for the sake of real shit. Everything, everywhere, all at once. It's not real shit for being the real shit for no reason. This makes sense. Get the same. And it's not... So it's easily to follow along. After I got done watching the movie, I have to read it so I make sure I got everything I, I posted again. And yeah, this is what, by on what I expected my mind but like is it well done the cinematography in this movie is really great in my opinion it's really weird and unique how they do it especially the opening shot like they take your camera the opening shot is really trippy and weird because they do this upside down type of thing which looks totally trippy and awesome i like it i like those Unique visuals of camera angles you see throughout the movie really good, especially when James went into the box so he killed, could kill Pasha's kill his clone because for the punishment that he did to kill a person when they when the James and M and Mia Goth character and her husband killed that person, but. There's one I didn't like because 
is is a little bit weird because when out of the beach before they gone take the take a drive to the countryside, James was peeing peeing like somewhere out on the beach and Mew Golf Doctor spotted him and kind of jerked him off and saw the cum. I guess didn't like that, not because of that, because like, it makes no sense. Like, if I wasn't, no, I was married now, I would be, he was, didn't come, he didn't react to it. Like, he gets let to do it. Like, makes no sense, especially when they were married. It makes sense, like, doing on in the middle of the movie when they are not a thing, but like, kind of have a fail. It makes sense. But like, this. It's foreshadowing of of the film, but like, and the movie ended. I can't like it was a unique experience. It was a, was a wild ride, but I like it because not it's not being real for the sake of being real. I don't like movies being real for the sake of being real. You have to fucking own it, and this movie own it because it make for me it makes sense. You have to watch the movie to make sense. You have to follow. Along. It's not boring, so you have to pay. A, probably have to pay attention close up so you could get everything that you want. But yeah, definitely the cinematography and how they executed these visuals is really awesome, really trippy. One of the most trippy sex scenes I I have ever seen in the movie. That's for damn sure. But. It's a really good, awesome movie. It's not going to probably not make my top favorite movies of the year. As right now, I have this... I have the 11 movies I give... I die gave only on physical media. This is number 10. As right now. So, it may move up or down, but... Maybe not move too up. But we'll see. Time will tell. So, now, if you like my review and you're interested in watching the movie, check it out. It's on... It just came out, so... Probably gonna be in the deals for in, in the deals in the next few weeks, so we'll see. It's, it's a good one. It, like you say, if you like those elevated, kind of elevated, high brow, those type of movies, this one for me, this is one of the best ones out there because it's not being real for the sake of being real. So that's. That's my thoughts. So thanks for watching. Remember to comment down below. If you've seen the movie, tell me what you think of the movie. So yeah, subscribe. Hit the notification bell button. Share this video. Hit the thumbs up button. And follow my follow my Facebook group at Movie Fandom Kingdom Land. And that will be it. Thanks for watching. Remember, good vibes only.